Introduction to Ruby on Rails or simply Rails. Ruby on Rails is a web application framework written in Ruby programming language. It is also licensed by MIT. Ruby programming language is specially made for developers. It is not a server-side language or programming language, it is a framework for web application. All the components which are required to develop a web applications are bundled as a framework which is called Ruby on Rails. So Rails is fully and completely for the developers. It makes a life easier for the developer. The main codes on Ruby on Rails is write less code while accomplish more. So it is it is a lot easier for developers to develop web applications using Ruby on Rails. Let's take a look at the history of Ruby on Rails. Let's talk about the history of Ruby on Rails. It is actually created by David Heinemer Hansen. He worked with a company called Basecamp and also he developed Ruby on Rails for this company Basecamp and he extracted the source and released as an open source project at 2004 and in 2005 Rails 1.0 first version 1.0 was released and in 2006 Apple bundled with a OS X level so after that Rails getting into the peak after the Apple bundled it so these are the few companies which are developed applications using Ruby on Rails, which is Basecamp, Groupon, Shopify, Heroku, GitHub, and our famous social networking, Twitter. Rails follows some software engineering patterns and paradigms. They are Model View Controller, and model view controller are simply a framework which is sorry a pattern uh, which is makes the application a lot more flexible and efficient model which is a business logic or a data and view is the visual page that we are viewing in the application and controller is the uh, is the stuff which controls both the model and the view uh, it grabs the information from the model and render it to the view as a HTML page. And COC, convention over configuration. We will talk about the convention over configuration later, but now it's just for more time coding and less time for configurations. So it actually means for coding uh, is our main concentration so we need to code for we need to spend our time for coding more uh, than configuring all the files and names such as uh, like that and the third is try don't repeat yourself uh, which means repeating the variables repeating the functions names etc etc so this is the one of the principle which is followed uh, since the Rails version 1.0. And active records. And active records are basically a model, which is uh, actually a model which is used to manage the data. For now, just remember active records are efficient and super awesome to manage the data. We'll talk about this very deeply later. <laughs>